Hello and welcome to this video. I will show you how you can use remote desktop on Clore.ai Marketplace. It's community-driven marketplace where people can provide their GPU servers, mostly cryptocurrency miners, so let's start. We will be doing demo with Blender rendering as example workload for the system and you will see at the same time how to use Clore.ai Cloud GPU service. You need to have Clore.ai account and open the marketplace, then you will see available servers. At the time of recording there is one machine available with RTX 3060 GPU and i5 10400F CPU. You can see the price in Satoshis per day, because we currently operate with Bitcoin payments. If you want to understand the price better, you can copy it to some Satoshi to US dollar converter, for example this one from Coinbase. And you will see that this machine costs about 10 cents per hour to rent. The prices will probably be pretty low due to current downturn in cryptocurrency GPU mining. Also an important thing it matters for how long you want to rent that machine, for example this one has a maximum rental length of 3 days. To deposit funds to your account you can click on the account section and you will see your account balances. You will see Bitcoin that is used to pay for your orders to hosting providers and Clore blockchain that is used as additional reward for hosting providers on top of what you pay to them. Under that you can add your SSH public key, if you want to SSH into your rented instances, if you don't add the key you can use less secure password authentication. You can deposit Bitcoin by clicking the deposit button and you will see your deposit address, I currently have Bitcoin in my account, so I can go back to marketplace. Click rent. Select the image with remote desktop, by default you have forwarded two ports, one for SSH and one for the web remote desktop. You can forward more ports if you would need that. Now you need to copy the remote desktop admin user password, because you will need that later. For the order creation you will pay 30 satoshis plus 1 minute of rental. The rental is billed every minute, so you will pay for just the right amount of time you need that machine. So now you have created the order, you can open the remote desktop. It can take some time for the instance to start. Now you will write your user admin and the password that you have copied beforehand. And now you are on remote desktop running on the server that you have rented. Clicking on this dot on the right side you can see your video bitrate, FPS and audio bitrate. It is recommend to not exceed the upload speeds of the server with the bitrate. So, to do our Blender demo, we will open up Firefox and download Blender. The reason we don't apt install Blender is that version don't work with CUDA and the version from the website does. We can open the terminal, go to downloads folder, extract Blender. Now you can go to Blender directory and launch Blender. Then you need to enable CUDA rendering under preferences with the GPU in the system. So for example you have some project on your local PC and you want to upload it to Clore.ai you can use SSH to upload and download files from the machine. The port 22 from the remote server gets forwarded through Clore.ai network and it is available on those two endpoints in case one goes offline. I have this Blender Classroom demo project locally on my PC and want to upload it to the server. I am using Linux Ubuntu on my PC with Nemo File Manager. On Windows you will need to use tool like WinSCP. So you will just grab one of the nodes. Put the port in the right field and log in as a root user. I don't fill in the password, because I am using SSH public key authorization. I have got host key validation failed because I have connected previously to this endpoint when it was running another order, so I have fired up terminal and removed the old key. Now I can hit try again and log in anyway and I am in. So I can open home and admin directory. Admin is the user account that the server is using. I can for example put the classroom folder on the desktop. Note that I have slow upload speeds at my home, so it takes some time. So now we have the classroom demo uploaded and we can open it in Blender.
Now we can for example render one frame, it will be fast on the GPU, much faster than render on your laptop CPU. The speed also depends on machine you will rent, at the time you want to use the marketplace there might be available much more powerful machines. The advantage is that Clore.ai is provided from people for people, so it is really cheap compared to classic cloud provider companies. If we will try to save the image now into the classroom directory, we would get a failure, because user admin currently don't have permissions for it. Because we were uploading as user root. So we just go to desktop in terminal and add all user permission to the classroom directory, so we can save the image to it. And copy it back to our own PC. And if that is all that you wanted to do, you can see that we have paid 129 satoshis for the job, which is about 2 cents and now we can cancel the order and the order will be cancelled in 60 seconds. And that's how Clore.ai works. Have a great day.